a smoky and spicy relish. Let's do it. You want to pop a frying pan onto the hob and turn the heat medium to high. Add a splash of olive oil and first you want some cherry tomatoes. Chuck your cherry tomatoes into the pan and we want to roast these off until the skins are lovely and blistered and the tomatoes have started to break down a little bit. Give the pan a shake, roll them around in the oil, give them a stir and it will take anywhere between 7 and 10 minutes for them to start to get nice and blistered. At that point we want to go in with a masher and mash up the cherry tomatoes. Once you've mashed up your cherry tomatoes give them a good stir and we just want to cook these out for a good few minutes. Add a little splash of water and cook them out until the water has evaporated. Next we're going to want some pickled jalapenos. Chuck your jalapenos onto a chopping board and we want roughly the same amount of jalapenos as we do tomatoes. Using a knife chop up your jalapenos. We want them chopped up quite coarse, not too fine. This way they give a great texture to the relish. Chuck your jalapenos into the pan with your tomatoes, give that a good stir through and then we want to season with some sea salt and some freshly ground black pepper. Give everything another good stir and next we want some smoked paprika. Go in with a nice heaped teaspoon of your smoked paprika. The smoked paprika gives a great smokiness to the relish. And next we want some tomato paste. Add a good heat teaspoon of your tomato paste and you want to be sure to give your tomato paste a good three to five minutes to cook out before you go in with the next ingredient which is some Worcestershire sauce. Shake up your Worcestershire sauce and add a good couple of glugs to the relish. Give everything another good stir. Cook down the Worcestershire sauce for a couple of minutes and then your relish is ready. You can serve it hot or cold with many many different dishes. A real versatile little relish and absolutely delicious. See you next time.